Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today we are talking about render speed in this new GPU technology, graphics cards on a laptop that will allow you to render 4K and 8K footage super fast from anywhere. So if you need to edit in your office, at home, on a couch, at your grandma's, in the woods, wherever you need to be, you can render super fast. Let's get into it. When NVIDIA reached out to me asking if I wanted to test out their new GPU technology inside of Premiere Pro and test it to the max, I was like, heck yes, that's awesome. So Dell, who's a partner of NVIDIA, sent me this new laptop, the Dell 7550 Precision Mobile Workstation, which is powered with an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000, which Seems like a mouthful, but this technology, wow, you can render with it super fast. Now, prior to them sending this laptop to me, I had been working mobily off of my MacBook Pro and being mobile is super important to my workflow. I need to be able to edit anywhere while I'm on the go, when I'm traveling, when I'm meeting with clients, it's super important. But recently I've had really really bad lag time for playback and encoding when I want to export on the MacBook, especially when I edit with 4K. Now my solution to making it faster was to reduce the playback to around an eighth of a resolution. Now this works, it's still a little dicey in the playback, but the image is blurry. Another workaround, which I've done a video on, is to create 720p proxies of your 4K footage so it's faster. But having to make a proxy, which is essentially using Adobe Media Encoder to render out each 4K clip into a 720p resolution takes a ton of time. So using the lower resolution playback at an eighth or a quarter, you know, isn't great because of the blurriness and creating proxies takes a ton of time. So both options kind of sucked. But when I tried out this new Dell, I was like, whoa, this is insane. It can keep up with the editing needs. And it's super exciting that NVIDIA technology with their graphics card is ahead of the curve. To give you an example of how fast it is, right now I'm playing back 4K footage at full resolution inside of Premiere Pro and there are zero dropped frames. If I would play this on my MacBook Pro right now, there would be a lot of dropped frames and stuttering. So it really gives you fluid playback, super smooth, and it's awesome. Believe me, I never thought in a million years that I would be editing from a Dell computer. Now, don't get me wrong, Apple computers are great and I still use my MacBook Pro for a lot of lighter editing, but when it comes to using After Effects and more complex timelines, anything that's more than five minutes, I tend to rely now on this Dell computer to do all the heavy lifting and the rendering just because you don't wanna be spending that extra time waiting around. For example, the other day I was up until 12 a.m. finishing an edit for a client that I needed to get out and I finished the edit, I was ready to encode and I was prepared to wait for about another 45 minutes to wait for this 15 minute video to finish exporting. Um, but I got up and went to go get water and I came back to this uh, Dell computer with this NVIDIA chip and it was done in four minutes. This is a huge relief, especially if you watch that video back and you see one error that is wrong, something that's wrong that you need to fix and then you have to re-export it again. If you don't have the proper hardware to export it fast, you could wait another 45 minutes for that video to export. But knowing that it's gonna be such a fast encoding, it's such a huge relief as a creator. So you can focus more on creativity and editing and not worry about the time to wait for the export and then you can get on to the next project. So what I'm going to do next is explain exactly how this NVIDIA technology works. And then I'm going to run some tests to show you exactly how fast this works. If you guys have done research on NVIDIA, you may have come across the term NVEC. And what this stands for is NVIDIA Video 
encoder. Now, I don't want to get super technical here, but essentially what this is, it's a piece of hardware. It's a feature on the GPU that accelerates the encoding inside of Premiere Pro, and it's only available on NVIDIA GTX and RTX graphics cards. So if you have one of these graphics cards, which I've linked to below, you can actually utilize this technology right now. And if you're building a PC, you may want to consider getting one of these NVIDIA graphics cards so that way you could take advantage of this. And the NVEC, the NVIDIA video encoder, is designed to accelerate video encoding exports of the H.264 and the new H.265 format. Now, the reason why this is unique is that by relying more heavily on the GPU, it frees up more space for the CPU. So it removes that CPU bottleneck. So long story short, if you have a GTX or an RTX NVIDIA graphics card, you can use the NVEC feature on that graphics card in Premiere Pro to accelerate your video encoding and playback on your computer right now. So let me show you how to set up this new hardware encoding inside of the preferences in Premiere Pro. First, go to File, Project Settings, General. And here, from the renderer, make sure that the Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA is selected. And this is pretty standard. You've probably known how to do this, but there's one more step. Then go to Edit, Preferences, Media, and make sure that the hardware accelerated encoding is active in Premiere Pro. If you do not see this option at all, that means you need to update to the latest version of Premiere Pro because it is a new update. So if you're interested in knowing the exact export times, you can actually use the Premiere Pro console. To open up the console, press the control function F12. Here in the console, it'll show the results of any export that you're doing in Premiere Pro and anything else that Premiere Pro is doing. The first test will be here with this test footage called Big Buck Bunny 4K Encoding Project. This is about 10 minutes and 30 seconds long. So what I'm gonna do is select it, go to File, Export Media. And from this window, I'll be exporting it to an H.264 format, and I'll make sure to match the source settings, which is in 4K. Then from the video tab, I'm gonna to go to the encoding settings and here I'll set the performance to hardware encoding, the profile to high and the level to 5.1. And now we'll hit export and you can already see it's just going to take a couple minutes based on the export. And the screen recorder that I'm using on the windows, it actually tells me how much of the CPU is being used in the GPU and the RAM. So you can see that the CPU is being used about 40 to 50% and 15% to the GPU and 33% of the RAM. So after this is done, the results in the console say that it took about 181 seconds to export. Now I ran this test before and it got about 168 seconds. So it's around an average of 175 seconds, but bear in mind that I'm also using a screen recorder. So if I didn't have the screen recorder running, it could have been a little bit faster. But let's turn off this new hardware encoding and just use the software encoding to show the difference. So let's do the same exact thing, go to File, Export, Media, and let's export the same video again with the same video format settings, but this time let's change the video encoding to software encoding only. And while I was exporting this, my computer showed me that the CPU was operating at almost 100%, so it was really exhausted. So let's go to the results here, and we can see from the console that it took 751 seconds. So that means that it's about four times the amount of time to export using software encoding only. So just by doing this comparison, you can see that the NVEC technology available on GTX and RTX graphics cards makes a huge difference when you want to export faster. I also downloaded a couple raw red 8K clips to test out in playback. And as I play this back, you can see that it's super smooth. There are no frames being dropped and it still looks great quality. I mean, this is a huge file. It's only 15 seconds and it's two gigabytes. If I try to drop this in my MacBook Pro timeline, it would stutter it would be really difficult to even get it to play. Now you might say that not a lot of people edit with 8K and that's true, but 
thinking about 10 years ago, a lot of people said that they weren't going to use 4K, at least the average video editors for social media. But now it's it's kind of becoming the standard. So it's great that we're prepared with these graphics cards from NVIDIA to really accelerate the encoding and the playback so you don't have to be painfully staring at the screen waiting for it to play back or wait for the entire clip to export to even preview your video, which is ridiculous. You do not want to be doing that. Now, I've known for a while that GPUs are super important, but I didn't realize how much I was missing out by not taking advantage of the NVIDIA chips, which are available on PC computers. So I'm really, really glad that I decided to take the leap and move most of my powerhouse editing over to a PC. So if you guys are on the market for a new laptop or if you're building your own PC or you want to replace a graphics card, definitely consider one of the GTX and the RTX NVIDIA graphics cards. I've linked to the laptop I'm using in the description box below and other laptops that partner with NVIDIA that have these graphics cards that enable this hardware encoding. So definitely check that out and give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you realize that it is time to really focus on hardware encoding. And now it's time for the comment of the week. Great Color wrote, how do I mix dialogue with music without using keyframes so that when the dialogue is up, the music goes down. And when there's no dialogue, the music goes up automatically. So this is a great question and there's two methods for this. There's a free method and there's a paid for method. And the paid for is a little bit easier, but let me explain the free. The free method is the essential sound panel, which is built in Premiere Pro. Essentially in your timeline, all of your audio clips, you need to assign an audio type to. So if you have a dialogue clip, you're going to label that as dialogue using the essential sound panel. If you have a music clip, you're going to label that as music. And then in the essential sound panel from the music, there is a tab called ducking and you can duck it against dialogue and it will automatically create keyframes for you. So that way the music will go down when the dialogue is playing. And then when the dialogue stops, the music will go back up. Now, the difficult part with this is that you do have to label all of the clips manually. And if you change anything, you have to regenerate those keyframes. But there is a paid for plugin called Alex Audio Butler that works on the track level and you just assign the tracks different audio types and it will automatically duck anything for you automatically even if you make changes to your rough cut. So no keyframes are involved. It handles everything for you with the AI technology. So I made a whole video on both the Essential Sound Panel and Alex Audio Butler so you can find the videos up here to click on um, from a card above. So that is all for this comment of the week. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll take a look at it to see if I can answer it in a future video. And yeah, hopefully the key point here that I want you to walk away with is definitely take a look at your GPU, learn more about your GPU before you purchase it and see if there's any way that you can take advantage of this new NVIDIA video encoder, the NVEC part of the NVIDIA Studio group. So thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Another thing, if you guys are still here, I started doing the movie lip syncs. I think they're super fun to create. So if you have a funny line or something engaging related to video that you want me to lip sync to, I'd love to check it out. So leave a comment below. See ya.